Hi everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by. Today I am going to introduce some new makeup from uh, M. Azam Beauty. I have here their new anti-aging primer and I also have the satin bronzer. They have a very pretty bronzer out and you guys know me with bronzer. I could not let this one go. And I also have three lipsticks where I will be doing lip swatches for you guys. Before we continue, for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for the continued support. For those of you who are here for the first time, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and for watching my videos. I would really love to have you as a subscriber, so please hit the subscribe button below and from all of you, I would love to have some comments and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will start with the anti-age primer from M. Azam. It is called the Magic Finish Anti-Aging Primer. It is four in one. It is a makeup primer. It is an anti-aging primer. It is called Skin Protection due to the SPF 15 and it is a skin perfecter. This packaging here, it says it is limited edition. There are three primers. There is this one, which is the anti-aging primer, and I do believe there is also one for problem skin, acne combination skin, and there is one for normal skin, so I picked up this one. I preferred this to the jar because at the moment they are offering both types of packaging. On my face, I have my normal skincare. I am wearing a hyaluronic acid and I am also wearing my Shiseido Vital Perfection Cream. This has a pump applicator. This is what the product looks like. It is pink and it is a very smooth cream. I would not say it is a gel. And as I rub it into my skin, the color disappears. It feels very smooth on my hands. It comes out in quite thin gushes. So I just will go ahead and dot this over my face. Based on the descriptions, it should be added all over the face and it can be spot applied on areas where uh, there are fine lines or problem areas. So I am adding a bit more on my forehead where I do have fine lines because this is supposed to be, you can say it should work a bit like a pore filler. I mean, with this being SPF 15, I am not sure that uh, you would add enough of this onto the skin that you would probably get enough protection. But it does say that this primer, due to its smoothing properties, it is perfectly fine to wear this without uh, any kind of uh, makeup. While this is absorbing into my skin, I will just talk a bit about this ingredient, Paracress extract, which is the secret ingredient in this primer. This is called Jambu plant, yeah? It comes from Brazil and there is an ingredient in this plant. It is called spilanthanol. This was not written on the M. Azam website, but I did my own research prior to buying this product because I wanted to know exactly what ingredient in here is supposed to, you know, um, smoothen my skin. And this ingredient, spilanthanol, it acts gently on the nerve receptors of the skin surface 
and it influences muscular skin tension and this is what I suppose smoothens the skin. It says as a result expression wrinkles on the forehead, mouth area and crow's feet are visibly smoother. I am looking in the mirror in front of me. There is a bit of a blurring effect on my skin and on the forehead it looks a bit blurred but I can still see the fine wrinkles on my forehead. I will go ahead and add makeup and I will see how this looks underneath of makeup. I will just add a bit more on the forehead area to see because this is the area I am really targeting <laughs> with this product. I added my Terracotta Letta foundation on top from Gila. I am looking in the mirror in front of me. First of all, on the forehead area, I do not see any big difference and if anything I think my makeup it looks a little bit I would say pasty. This is a foundation that I trust so I know it is not the foundation. My first impression of this it is not very positive. I expected at least to see in this area a bit more smoothing of the skin and there is no difference. I think this is just a normal primer with SPF. Here it looks very smooth, my skin, but it was supposed to be an anti-aging primer which uh, smoothens out the wrinkles on my forehead. There is no benefit from this. This is sold in uh, lower end perfumeries or the drugstore QVC in many countries. I mean, this only has 30 milliliters and it's costing $14.99. So it is not an inexpensive product. Actually, in here, it's 20 milliliters or 0.67 ounces. I will keep fussing with this. I will wear it under different skincare, but my first impression of this is that it's a flop. I do not like this. The next product that I picked up from M. Asam, it is this magic finish. It's the satin bronzer and it says it has satin touch texture. It is supposed to have an ultra fine pigmentation and perfect hold. So this one, it is three in one. It is a bronzer duo. It is perfecting hold and it is supposed to give a summer-like glow. It promises a lot. I did test this in the store. So on my hands, the color, it did look like it was deep enough. This is a very pretty compact. This is what it looks like. I don't think yeah. you can see this. And this is what the bronzer looks like. There is light, medium and deep in this bronzer. So I took the deep shade. But let me see if I can swatch all three different colors. Well, actually it's two colors. This dark color here, it's part of the packaging, but this is the lighter color and this is the deeper color. I am using my Bobbi Brown bronzer brush because this is not supposed to add any kind of contour. Ah. It is more supposed to behave like 
a sun powder. Guys, I am going into this with this brush and it has quite a lot of uh, kickback. I have gone into this twice. I can see a touch of color. Look at this. When I go into this with the brush, this is what happens. This is a natural hairbrush. Maybe I will use a, a different brush. It adds a little bit of something, but I mean, look at this. I will try this with my Mac Jacobs bronzer brush, which is a synthetic bronzer brush, but it does the same thing. It's like the product just comes apart. So it was not the natural hairbrush, it is just that the product is this way. I am going to go into this, uh, just this little highlighter part to see if I can get a bit of highlighting from this. Wow, <laughs> this works awesome. As a highlighter, it is a very nice shade, as you can see, but the bronzer is not doing much and the product, there is a lot of uh, kickback. Guys, this is for me a no-no. This has so much kickback to the point that I cannot even add this as bronzer i have a mess everywhere here this part here the highlighting piece it is quite nice but i did not need this just as a, a highlighter sadly i can't return it i have already bought it and for me this is money wasted i am really unhappy with this when i saw this and i swatched it on my hands uh in the store it looked like a nice product i knew it would not give me bronzer bronzer but i thought it would be nice just for adding a bit of glow to the skin and you know me i can't pass up a bronzer but this is also it's just not a good product there is a problem that when you go into the product so much of the bronzer it's almost like a loose bronzer maybe i will write to m azam and try and return this to them directly and not the store that i bought it they do take all of their products back so i will try now it is time for these lipsticks from rival de loop i got three of them i do hope that these are a success because i would be very annoyed normally when i pick up stuff from the drugstore i find good products rival de loop it is a line in the european drugstores and this is what the packaging looks like it is quite popular here and it is a brand similar to catrice the first lipstick, this is number six. This is from the satin lipsticks. I did not pick up any of the matte lipsticks. Guys, this is number six. This is so pretty and this would be perfect for summer. It is a bit of, I would say, an orange uh, red lipstick beautiful shade and i do love the very creamy satin texture of this lipstick i do buy a lot of lip glosses from rival de loop the clear glosses without pigmentation i do like them a lot 
This one, it is from their Rival Love Me lipstick. It is number 14 and it is called Chestnut. This is the color Chestnut. Actually, it looks a lot more deep brown in the tube, but on my lips, it's more of a plum, a deep plum color. This is very pretty. This is more of a fall color. I did pick it up now because Rival de Loop, sometimes the lipsticks come and they go very quickly. I knew I wanted this, so I am very happy for this color. The last lipstick, it is number 23 and it does not have a color. This is number 23. Guys, these lipsticks, they glide on so easily. They are very pigmented. And they feel so smooth on the lips. The quality of these lipsticks are very good for the price point. I mean, these are drugstore lipsticks. I showcase every now and then M. Azam on this channel. The products that I have bought in the past, they were all very good products and I did like them. Unfortunately, these two products did not work for me. The bronzer, I will retire. I will try again this anti-aging primer. It was not cheap, but like I said, I don't see any difference in terms of my fine lines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon on my channel. Tschüss!